Hey guys, Break here, and today we're going to be going over 10 forgotten items that you can craft that can make you quite a bit of gold. Now, some of these items are pretty common and you've probably heard of them, but others are a bit more random. An example of this was back in Legion in my gold cap challenge, I sold failure detection pylons with engineering, and a lot of people didn't realize how well they sold, and I managed to make hundreds of thousands of gold just from selling failure detection pylons. Now, failure detection pylons don't sell anymore, so we're not going to be talking about those, but we are going to be talking about similar sorts of items that are a bit random, but could make you a lot of extra gold. So the first item is also something from Legion Engineering, and that is the Auto Hammer. This is obviously a very useful item, particularly for Mythic Plus, because it just lets you repair your items in the dungeon. How many Mythic Plus have you been in where someone's had to hearthstone out because the gear got broken and no one had a repair bot? Well, the Auto Hammer is just like that. It sold very well in Legion and it still sells very, very well in BFA. And I know on some servers it can make some real nice profit. And if there aren't many on your auction house, you can really exploit the market. You can sell it in stacks of 10, stacks of 20, stacks of 5, and you can make a pretty good profit. So if you have an engineer, it's definitely worth checking how profitable auto hammers are particularly if you have the rank three probably not going to be profitable if you don't have rank three so you might have to go do the legion world quest when it pops up but it's going to be really really profitable on your server potentially so do check it out so another item is the shadow weave mask now many of you will remember this from legion it's one of the items required for one of the secret mount achievement quest lines whatever you want to call it to get the secret mount you need it and it still sells really well to this day. The good thing is lots of people have forgotten about it since Legion. So if you are a tailor, then do craft some Shadow Weave masks. They sell pretty regularly and often can sell for a few thousand gold profit each, especially on the, the less populated servers. If you don't have the pattern, then you can buy the pattern from the auction house or you can go and farm it in Searing Gorge. But once you've got it, just craft a few if it's profitable, leave them up on the auction house and you should see some pretty steady sales. So next up is the inscription profession and we're going to talk about two groups of items here. Now the first group of item is the crane wing and tiger claw, the kind of shoulder enchants that you used to be able to use for inscription to enchant your shoulders. Now whilst these can't be used in BFA or even in Legion, they are used and they are still bought by people. I think whether they're leveling or whether people have twinks or something like that. Either way, people do still buy these, and some people make a lot of gold from them. Even on my very high pop server, these sell for pretty tasty profits, and they have a pretty good sale rate, so you should sell, you know, maybe one or two every day, or at least a couple every week. And it's just going to be an easy way for you to get a steady amount of gold. Uh, check on your server, see if they're profitable, and get crafting them if they are. So the next group of items is the glyphs, and I know we can't really talk about this as a kind of forgotten or unknown market, but you'd be surprised how many people do kind of forget about some of these in terms of their steady gold making, particular glyphs that kind of change your appearance, particularly change kind of travel forms or change your pets sell really, really well. So something like glyph of the cheetah or glyph of the stars, the things that change the druids sell crazily well. 0.45 sale rate for a glyph is ridiculous. Glyph of the Stars is when it turns your Moonkin just into a kind of starry, normal figure. Uh, it sells really, really well. Usually a 1,000 or 2,000 gold profit on most servers. So it's a really easy way to make steady gold every single day because it's a very, very popular Glyph. And there's also other ones, like I said, Glyph of the Cheetah, uh, Glyph of the Spectral Wolf for the Shamans. And then there are the other Glyphs that are from Legion that are more expensive and usually make you more profit but they do take a bit longer to sell. But still, the ones for the DKs and the ones for the Warlocks in particular seem to sell really, really well. Uh, the Demon Hunter Tattered Wings as well sells really well. So these are some that sell really good and sell for a really nice profit. So make sure you remember your glyphs if you have a scribe. Make sure constantly be doing the Glyph of Stars and the other kind of movement travel form glyphs but also doing the Legion Glyphs, put them up on the auction house and you'll make really steady gold every day. A lot of people forget about these, but they're definitely worth it. So next up is leatherworking and we've actually got three things here that I think are kind of forgotten or at least are kind of a bit random that you can make some gold off. 
So the first is the coarse leather barding, which prevents people being dazed in Battle for Azeroth, basically. Uh, very, very useful because flying is still not in the game. And a lot of people buy these. And on some servers, you can make fairly good profit. On my server, unsurprisingly, it's not that profitable at the moment. But if these sell for like 50 or 100 gold profit on your server, then make a few because you can sell these in like stacks of 5, stacks of 10. And surprisingly, people do buy them quite a lot, whether it's for leveling or it's just for, you know, random doing world quests, etc. So it's a nice bit of easy gold making. Next up are the drums. So for those of you who don't know, I'm sure you all do, drums are the time warp, heroism, whatever, for people who don't actually have it. It's very good for single player content and it's also good in dungeons if you're running without a hero class. So there are two lots of drums really that you can make, drums of the Maelstrom and drums of the Mountain from Legion. I'm pretty sure drums of the Mountain can still be used and they still sell pretty good and drums of the Maelstrom are the new one. They are also selling pretty good. Again, if these are selling for good on your server, then make a few, sell them in stacks of five, stacks of 10, and you should make a nice profit. So next up is alchemy, and the first thing is invisibility potions. Now, for some reason, a lot of people don't think these are that relevant and don't put them on the auction house, but these are very relevant for Mythic Plus. You almost always need them for a lot of the dungeons. So invis potions are very, very good, and you can sell them again in stacks of like 20 even or stacks of 10, and people will buy them. There are kind of a lot of invisibility potions. I think the main ones are the Skaggle Drink from uh, Legion and the new draft of Deception from BFA. So see if these are profitable on your server, and if they are, then make some because they definitely sell very, very quickly. There's also the Drainic Invisibility Potions you can make, so there's loads of different options. Next up is True Gold. While whilst this doesn't sell quite as quick as some of the other things we've discussed, True Gold is an excellent gold-making method, particularly if you have Transmutation Mastery on your Alchemist, because that can proc more than one True Gold each time you make it. But it's basically a shuffle. You turn some Pyrian bars along with different volatiles into true gold. And true gold is kind of useful. It's used in a few things, particularly the Vial of the Sands recipe and some other stuff as well. So if you do have an alchemist, then check if it's profitable, the shuffle on your server. And especially if you have transmute mastery, true gold can be a very good way of making a nice bit of gold. Talking of transmutes, another thing you should always be doing is the living steel transmute. If you've got transmutation master on your alchemist, you turn six trillion bar into a living steel. And even if it says you're going to be making a loss on your server, even if it's just a kind of small loss, it's probably still worth doing because it can proc and you can get like four or five living steel bars. And that's going to be really, really nice. And you're going to make a huge profit there. So check what it's like on your server. And even if it says you're going to be making a very small loss, probably still worth doing if you have the transmute mastery because it's going to give you a great chance of making a lot of gold every single day. And you should do this on all of your alchemists. And for those of you wondering how to get a transmutation master, you want to get to 300 out of 300 in vanilla alchemy. And that's going to give you the option of the three quests and if you choose the transmutation mastery, then you're going to become a transmutation master. And it's going to be really good because then whenever you transmute, you've got a chance of proccing more than one. And for something like Living Steel, that's really OP. So last up, we have enchanting. And uh, what I always talk about, but what is really, really good is the Tome of Illusions. Lots of people either just don't make these or can't be bothered or whatever, but they're definitely worth it because they still sell really good. And particularly if you get the kind of random term of illusions, so the elemental lords, which I think you need exalted with Therizane from Cataclysm, and then also the secrets of the Shadow Pan. I think you need exalted with the Shadow Pan in Mr. Pandaria. Now these are harder to get than the others, and they usually sell for a lot more, and there's less people, so there's less competition. So do get the term of illusions and do try and get these two in particular and you'll just sell a few every single week. And it's really, really worth it because it's often when someone buys one, they'll actually go and buy all of them. So 
you won't just make 3k from them buying one you'll make 3k plus 2k plus 2k whatever so you end up making 10k or 20k or 30k just from one person basically so it's really worth doing the term of illusions don't forget about these we also have the Missa Pandaria weapon enchants now these are randomly really really good they often sell for a lot of profit on some servers thousands and thousands of gold uh, not many people kind of think about them or make them and people do actually buy them for some reason I don't know whether that's because of twinks or because of leveling or something like that but anyway people buy them they do sell and it's a great way to make a bit of extra gold if you've got enchanting anyway guys that's it those are 10 or so of my favorite random things that you can craft put on the auction house and they'll sell for a pretty nice amount of gold let me know if you've got anything that i forgot in this video what do you guys make that you don't have much competition and can often get you a nice chunk of gold do let me know in the comments Thanks for watching and until next time, see ya.